So I just added all over print t-shirts to my website because they look so damn cool. And I had to put the brakes on the workflow because I realized, uh oh, I smell future work for myself. What's gonna happen? Somebody out there will see a graphic that they really like on a hoodie and they will want it on a shirt or they will see it on a shirt and want it on a hoodie. And at that point, they're going to reach out. They're going to ask for that. And of course, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to have to sit and do it manually. So what I'm going to do before that even happens is to convert all the existing images I've already used for products and convert them into the other product using a special shortened workflow. Then after that, I'm going to modify the workflows that I already have to create both hoodies and t shirts at the same time. Follow me. So I need to sign in to my make account. Link down in the description. Thank you for using my link to sign up. Go ahead and sign in. Click on create new scenario. I only really need two modules. Printify, get an image which will return an image that I specify. This will allow me to grab any image that I have already uploaded into Printify's image database. Deselect map, and you can choose your image ID. Schuerman, that's the graphic from this shirt that I want to make into a hoodie. So I'm gonna select that and click OK. Instead of creating this module from scratch, I'm going to copy paste it to make it easy on myself. Let's give this a title before we go away. Call image to make new product. Give it another save. And then I'm gonna go into one of my existing scenarios. Really only have two for the all over prints. And there we go, there's the all over print hoodie. I'm gonna go into that workflow. And I only need to grab one module, which is the create a product module. So let's right click and copy module. Go back to the workflow that I just created. Call image to make new product. And then I'm gonna just simply paste. Then I'm gonna connect the two. And that's it. This will create a hoodie out of anything called right here. I think I need to make a few modifications, yeah. So because we're not generating text and I didn't bring over any of the other modules, I'm going to replace the title with, since I already know what the title is going to be, I don't need to generate it again, Sherman Reaction Dash AOP Kangaroo Pouch Hoodie. Then I need to modify this. We're not generating a description. I'm gonna copy paste that in Printify once I create the product. Everything else should be good. And it's looking like this right here might be problem. See where it says five ID? It's calling up an image and I think it needs to grab that from right here. Right here I place it with one ID and it's gonna grab the image ID and we'll have to do that everywhere we see this entry to make sure that it's actually going to work. Click OK, save, and then let's run this and see what happens. That was fast. Let's check out what exists in my Printify account. It made a Sherman Reaction hoodie and let's open it up. There's the original t-shirt. Now we have it on a hoodie. Now what I have to do, because I didn't get the description, I can copy paste the description from my Printify listing. Ladies and gentlemen, my cat enters the building. What you doing? I don't have a ghost. It's a, it's a little furry ghost. Yeah. So that's really it for this workflow. There's not a lot to it. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to convert all my hoodies to t-shirts and vice versa and get that done. What I haven't figured out, there's another module here that I tried to use first. So when you go to load Printify under your uploads, you have the option to list uploaded images. Unfortunately, it didn't return a list in a way where I could maybe repurpose all of those in a sequence and not have to sit here and do them one by one. If you know how to do that and I'm just kind of like 
missing the picture on that, leave a comment down below. I'd love to know if you know how to do this or have figured it out. Join me for my next video where I'm going to show how to create multi-product workflows so that I don't ever have to do this again. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the content. Thank you very much for using my links. It helps me keep making these videos. I wish you all the success in your print-on-demand endeavors. Onward and upward.